Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Work. Hard work. Work. Hard work. Work. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Today, I'm going to be building uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off. I got myself a new uh, dust deputy uh, yesterday. So I'm going to start off by building a little cart to set my shop back on and I'm going to uh, put the dust deputy uh, above my shop back so that the uh, floor print uh, is still the same as the shop back before the dust deputy. So guys, hang around and uh, check it out. Alright guys, you'll see me here just taking some rough measurements of the shop back to lay out the size of the panels for the top and bottom. Uh, I was going to use my table saw here, but the fence is just a little too small for the size panels I was going to use. So you see me lay it out, and then I'll get my uh, rip fence here and cut it by hand. I'll cut the top, then the bottom, and I'll set those to the side while I go ahead and make my risers. I forgot to video that, but you'll see me laying out the holes here so that I can pre-drill for the screws to attach the risers to the bottom plate. And I went ahead and drilled for the top plate as well. It's really important that you pre-drill your holes in the 2x4s, otherwise they're very prone to split. And the pre-drill just uh, avoids that. And here I'm cutting some extra reinforcement for the bottom of the cart. Uh, I'm just cutting a couple of 2x4s uh, to fill into the gap here. And I'm also cutting the, the top pieces as well. And for the bottom of the cart, I just rip the 2x4s uh, in half and then I'll screw those down from the top here in just a second. There we go. And that's just going to add a little rigidity to the bottom of the cart. So here I'm laying out the top of the cart, the same as the bottom, just adding two 2 by 4s to the bottom of the plywood. And then I'll attach the top with it upside down here, of course. And you see, voila, look, I forgot to pre-drill holes. And it's split, and I'm gluing it up, clamping it, so that uh, I can come back and re-drill that when it dries. So then I pre-drill the rest of the holes, so that doesn't happen again. And here I'm going to lay out the wheels for the bottom of the cart. And I'm just using one wheel, and laying them out, and pre-drilling the holes here as well. And we just, every corner gets a wheel. And I, chose, I thought about using wheels with locks, but I opted not to. And now I'm going to begin laying out uh, some indexes for the uh, dust collection bucket to sit on. Now, I sat the bucket on there and laid it out, and then I made the indexes uh, location to where they'll be nice and snug, where you actually have to shove the bucket down into the indexes so that it doesn't wobble around. Okay, here you can see the hose that came with the dust deputy. It's a little too short, but luckily I had some old shop vac hose lying around, and I trimmed it to length so that it'll fit nice and evenly on the cart, and you don't have any extra just lying around. And here's just a test run with it to see how it's going to do. I'll vacuum up the mess that I've made, and it does a pretty good job. All right, guys, uh, I may do a little modification uh, here in a little bit to, to try to uh, secure the dust deputy uh, from tilting one way or the other if you have to pull the cart with the hose. Um, but anyway, let's take a look and see how it did collecting the dust. Uh, that was quite a bit of dust from uh, cutting all this wood, and uh, I had already used it yesterday as well. And let's check it out. A 
That's uh, quite a bit of dust in there. So I decided for a quick solution, I would pre-drill some holes for some screws into the side of the cart, and I would use some tie-down straps that I had lying around. And I just looped those around the top of the dust deputy and went from one corner to the other, and did the same on the other side. And that made it pretty doggone stable, and you'll see I can pull it around and it doesn't move at all. Okay guys, here's the finished cart. Uh, you can see that uh, everything tidies up nice and neat. I uh, added uh, a couple extra screws for my foxtail broom and a little dust pan. In the future I'm going to add side panels, uh, some baffles to the back, and an access door to get the shop back out. So, once again guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget, subscribe, share, and come back for future videos.